Hey guys, this is Michael Gas PDS Equipment coming to you from our nearly famous North Georgia studios. It's a cold first day of February, so I'm sitting in front of the fire. Before I get started, the Super Bowl is tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and make a bold prediction. It's going to be on tape, so I'm going to have to live with it. So Trevor and Kevin, don't give me a hard time if I'm wrong. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with Kansas City to win the Super Bowl tomorrow. With that said, let's talk about today's video. We're going to be talking about creating cut lines from a JPEG file or a raster base file. Doesn't matter what format, as long as it's a dot base, raster base, JPEG type file with a white background. There's a really simple way to do this in Photoshop, and that's what we're going to do today. So you're going to need Photoshop, Illustrator, and raster link for this video. So uh, if you've got a JPEG file with a white background, you need to create a cut line. This is your video. Here we go. So we are in Photoshop. We're going to be using Photoshop, Illustrator, and raster link for today's video. First thing we're going to do is open up a file. And we have got a guitar here. Um, that is a 1984 Gibson Les Paul Custom Antique Sunburst. The reason I know all that is because it's my guitar, but I thought it'd be good to work with today. So the first thing we're going to do is hit Window, Layers. We want our Layers window open. There it is. We're just going to leave it up in the corner. The next thing we're going to do is hit our Magic Wand tool. Now we're going to right click here and show you something. If your Quick Select is selected, right click, hit Magic Tool. Um, we're going to bring our magic tool over and we're going to click on our image. Now, this video is for an image on a white background. If you don't have a white background, this video is going to have some helpful things, but not going to be as useful. So what we have just done by clicking on the white area with the magic wand is we select all common pixels with the one we clicked. We've got four things up here that we can control our tolerances with one is point sample three by three average on up to 101 I usually leave it on point if uh, you're not getting the results you're looking for then I suggest change point sample change tolerance uh, soft smooth edge or hard edge I usually use soft edge and my tolerance is going to be anywhere from 5 to 40 is usually a good number. So what tolerance is, is that's an RGB value, which is going to go from 0 to 255. And 0 means no tolerance. 255 is going to pretty much select everything on the screen. So if you go with a low tolerance of 0, you're going to get really close. You're going to get far away from your image, and you're probably going to have a jagged line. If we... Hmm go higher in number you get a smoother image and you get farther away from your image so we're going to take this down to a five click off click back on and that looks nice and smooth I like what I see so I think we're going to go with that so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to eliminate all our white pixels just so we can get a good look at what's going on so we hit the add mask now if I hit add mask keep my white pixels everything else disappears that's not what we want so I'm going to control Z get out of that hit alt create mask and that deletes the selection so hitting the button deletes everything but the selection hitting alt and the button deletes the selection so once I've done that I'm going to click my um, actually before I do that I'm going to click my marquee tool I'm going to crop this image down and the reason we're cropping it raster link likes and works best with an image that doesn't have a lot of borders and it will save you the time and trouble of having to crop it in raster link and uh, if you don't crop or forget to crop you're going to have wasted image if you're running several up so we usually crop so i'm going to hit image crop now i've got my image and i'm all ready to go so now i'm going to again with my Rectangular marquee tool selected. I'm going to start outside my image area, drag across, let go outside my image area. I've selected the entire image. So now I'm going to hit Control Copy, Control C. I'm going to hit Alt Tab. 
One more time, let's get to Adobe Illustrator. Hit File, Open, and I'm just going to, excuse me, I'm not going to hit File Open. I'm going to hit File New, and I'm just going to open up any new template, preferably a background or a artboard smaller than my image. So my image is... Uh, 12 by 26 this is a 5 by 12 so this will work fine so I'm going to hit control V and what this just did is pasted my background which is not what we wanted so let me back over here and show you so the reason it pasted the background is I had this selected that's a mistake you might make so click this guy select everything control copy alt tab and Control V. All I'm going to do now is zoom out. I don't want to touch or move anything right now. And the reason I don't is because I'm about to make my cut layer and put it on top of this. And I want them to register up. So all I'm going to do is click off of this, click my layers button, and go down here and click create new layer. So now I've got my guitar on one layer. I'm going to go ahead and lock that. And I've got a um, second layer that I'm going to put my cut information on. I'm going to highlight my second layer. And I'm going to leave everything just like it is. Again, I don't want to move my image. All I want to do once I paste it is add my second layer. So now I'm going to hit Alt-Tab. Come back to my uh, Photoshop. And now I'm going to click my Magic Tool again. I'm going to select again. I'm going to leave all these settings the same because they worked good the first time. So they should work this time. Again, you do not have... To delete your white background i just like doing that so that i can see it and make sure there's not any trash or stray pixels or something unpredictable going on so once i have it selected now i'm going to make a path out of it and to do that we come over here to our layer window if your layer window was not open hit windows hit layer and it will come up i'm going to click on paths then now i'm going to come down here to this button which is make worth pack make work path from selection click that and now I've got a path made so now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click this button which is my path selection tool now if you click on it and direct select is there right click on the bottom click path select because in illustrator 2020 which is what I'm in should be your options so now I'm going to click off the screen to deselect everything and I'm going to come back over here and I'm just going to click that line I'm going to hit edit copy or control c i'm going to hit alt tab bounce over here to illustrator then i'm going to hit edit paste in place it's going to ask me what i want to do compound shape okay and it is pasted my outline in place the first thing i'm going to do now is click on my stroke change it to black the only reason i'm doing that is just so i can see it so now if I hide my guitar, I can see that I've got a pretty good outline. Now, next thing I'm going to do is go to Properties. Hide that. Go to Edit Artboard. And the old Fit Artwork to Bounds trick. So now my artboard and my two layers are all the same size and everything registers up. So if I wanted to make a cut line out of this, which I do, all I do is click on this... Uh, Click on my selection tool, click on my line. I'm going to come over here to my Mamaki tools and click on my cut contour kiss. And now I've got my cut line and I am all ready to go. So I could take this to, uh, to raster link right now. But before we do that, we're going to do a couple of things. One is I'm going to click on my direct select tool and we're going to click this guy and it is loaded with points so that's a couple things we're not crazy about number one is that's a lot of information it's going to be a much bigger file than it needs to be and number two it's going to be slower cutting because there's so much information and, and not too not as many straight and smooth lines as we would like so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to object we're going to go to path and we're going to go to simplify then Actually, what we're going to do is instead of direct select tool, lesson learned from me and everyone else that does this. We don't want direct select. We want select. So now 
We've got our line selected. We're going to go to Object, Path, Simplify. This path has 978 points. That's way too many, so we're going to bring it down. 32 points, probably not enough. 575. That actually looks pretty good, and that's 47 points. So we click off, and we're done. Just to see if it still looks good, going to take our guitar on and off, and that looks good. That's a good smooth path. I like it. Just to see how many points we have, I'm going to click on my direct select tool. I'm going to click on that. So we could probably edit it again, either manually or with the direct select tool, but we're just going to go with that. So now let's say we want an outline. There's a couple of ways we can do that. And uh, number one is we're going to click on our path. And we're going to click Object. We're going to go back to Path again, except this time we're going to choose Offset Path. I'm going to offset this path three quarters of an inch, so 0.75. And I'm going to use uh, Round. And I'm going to click OK. So now we have a second line, and that actually looks pretty good. I'm going to smooth that guy out some, Edit. Excuse me, Object, Path, Simplify, did it again. I'm going to click this button, select my path, Object, Path, Simplify. There we go. So it's 23 points. We're going to bring this down to 16 points, and that actually looks okay. So we're going to click on that. So now we're going to click on this one. I'm going to come up here and click on my Cut Contour Perf. So now I've got my image. I've got my two separate cut lines. And now we're ready to go to uh, go to raster link. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do, just to show you. I'm going to delete this line. I'm going to show you another way we can make a cut line. Let's say... Uh, we want a real simple outline, so I'm going to click my uh, rectangle tool, and I'm just going to drag a rectangle around this. I'm just going to eyeball it. I like that. And then I'm going to grab, going to round my corners in just a little bit, just just for fun. And then I'm going to click on my cut contour perf. So before I do that, I've got to click on my selection tool. I keep forgetting to do that today, don't I, folks? All right, so now I've got two lines. Of course, now my uh, artwork's not big enough, artboard. So I'm going to click Edit Artboard. Fit to Artwork Bounds. There we go. I'm going to go to Layers, and I'm going to show my layer. Now, a couple things we want to make sure before we take this over to raster link number one we want to make sure our cut layer is on top and we want to make sure our image layer is on bottom the second thing we want to make sure is that both our cut lines have the um, both our cut lines have the stroke of a cut and no fill so that's got uh, that's got this one and this has this one, and neither one has a fill. So now we're going to do this. Now we're going to say File, Save As, and what is this called? We're going to save it as Guitar with Cut. And we're going to save it as an EPS. Save. Now, one thing that we want to make sure is that our file document color mode is CMYK. It was not. It was RGB. We want it to be CMYK, so now we're going to hit File, Save, and save over that. Rasterlink does not recognize, uh, doesn't do as good a job of recognizing RGB. You can send RGB artwork just fine, but the RGB color lines wouldn't work. So now that we've done that, we're going to tab over to Raster Link, and we're going to hit File, Open. I'm going to go over here to our guitar. 
Somebody's going to have to clean this folder out for me. Guitar with cut EPS open. And there comes the guitar and there comes the cut line. So we've got our guitar and our cut line. Let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom out on this just a little bit so we can see what we got. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on my general print tab. And it's going to tell me that I have no machine hooked up right now, which I know that. So then we're going to click on our contour kiss. We're going to change it to user definition cut one. We're going to click apply. Then we're going to go to cut two. I'm going to change it to user definition, cut to, apply. So now we have taken this image, we've created our cut lines, and we've brought it into raster link. And if cut one is defined as a kiss cut on your machine, and cut two is defined as a perf cut or a half cut. So what a contour kiss cut is, is that's going to cut through the vinyl, but not into the backer. The perf cut's going to cut all the way through, but it's going to leave perf marks so that you just pop it out when you're done. And we've got other videos talking about that. So that is it. That is how you create a cut line in Photoshop when you've got an image with a white background. One thing I want to add. When I did my cut lines, I went over that pretty quick. So I want to cover that real quick. So basically, I have a um, color swatch that opens every time I open up illustrator and it's called mamaki tools and i've got in here three different cut lines that i can assign i've got my straight cmyk if i'm working on a uh, special plate that i want a mono color i can assign a raw clear a raw primer and a raw white right from illustrator got some swatches and a few favorite colors so the main ones i want to focus on right now are the cut contour so uh, once you create your own uh, swatch, you can't edit it, but I can go back to the root, and let me show you what I got here. So, your cut contour kiss, you want to make sure it is labeled cut contour, then after that, doesn't matter, but I name it cut contour kiss. If you're a PDS customer, you want to keep on the same language as us, so that way when we are talking, it might speed things up, go ahead and use the same nomenclature. So, cut contour kiss is going to be for a uh, kiss cut or a uh, contour cut or a cut through the vinyl but not through the backer. S color type must be spot color. Color mode must be CMYK. Color does not matter. I just always make it 100% magenta so that anytime I'm looking, I know I'm looking at a contour cut or a kiss cut. The next one is the perf cut or cut it in half. It's called Contour Cut Perf. It's a spot color. It's CMYK. And I do 75 magenta and 75 yellow. The reason I don't do 100 is because there's some other colors that confuse that. But if I see that color, then I know I'm looking for a half cut. So I hope that helps. And just real quick, the raw clear, raw primer, and raw white are in the uh, Mamaki swatch. Let me show you where that's located. So we're going to... You've got that. You can you have access to it if you have raster links. So go to your computer, go to your C drive, go to Mid Suite, go down to Swatches. And if you have Corel Draw, if you have Illustrator, you can open up these swatches. So the the raster link library is where you can get the um, the primer clear and white that you can assign right from raster link. Hope that helps. All right, so there's our video. Hope you liked it, hope it helped. If you've got a JPEG file with a white background and you use this approach, you should be able to create a cut line in a minute and a half, two minutes. Uh, you just gotta get used to it if you've never done that before. So if you have any questions or if you have any other videos that you would like to see, you can always email me or even give me a phone call. Be glad to try to help all our PDS customers. And uh, as always, be sure to check out our YouTube page. Thank you very much.